The chill in the air is curling my stomach in knots. It can squeeze into my underthings, fly loose into the open air. Before I get to the point, my parents, both painters, sent me to the Newark Museum School at age two, which leaves me a painter 32 years. The work of my youth was abstract. Later, at Pratt, I was introduced to the figure. In the 1980s, there was a kind of opening up of the idea of gender and a uh, worry about categories. And uh, if, you, if you walk through this exhibit and look at Hoffman's work, you see all kinds of ways in which he's breaking through categories. One minute he's painting thickly, and the next minute he's doing prints, and then another minute he's appropriating images from pornography. So there's a kind of breaking down of boundaries and of what's acceptable and, and not acceptable in the art world, not just in the art world, but what is acceptable behavior uh, in American life. The figure, the breath of man himself, is an amazing study. Many humans have become hollow and dispassionate. I paint man with fear and desire, and the crowded compositions are the souls of the people that barrage thought and memory in daily course. to a bar, got drunk, he came back and was projectile vomiting all over the street, and then threw himself down on the bed, put a wig on, and said, get real. He received a formal education at Brooklyn's Pratt Institute, but it was the East Village of the 1980s where artist Richard Hoffman really got schooled. His canvas was the city where he created distorted figures and took on topics like religion, homosexuality, redemption, and sin. The great thing about Richard was that he didn't, he didn't coop himself up away from everyone, you know. You would think so, given the amount of work that he's done, that he was spending all his time in the studio. But he was out and about. New York is not the setting of any drama but its own, and its people are its story. Started doing murals in all the clubs, but that was the popular in the East Village, the Roxy Dance Trio Pyramid Club. The clubs were also a great uh, release um, and a means of, ex you know, expressing and depicting what was going on around us. What an introduction, what can I say? Welcome to Space Ship Pyramid, here on a Saturday night. Move it, boy! Oh! Oh! Somebody needs to say! Over there, you animal! Last week, we were talking about just how uh, full of life Richard was, you know, just that kind of, he had that great joie de vivre, you know, that sort of, they say of Frida Kahlo, alegria, you know, it's just like, he was just a joyful, you know, way out there person, you know? And you'd think, maybe looking at some of his work, that he was full of angst and self-doubt, and <laughs> he really wasn't. 
My interest is to allow the broken figure to convulsively assume its own abstract composition and symbolism. The painting on canvas and on painted plane and diorama can mirror one another. Richard's work, I mean, it's called neo-expressionistic, which is very emotive. Many layers, many very intense colors, uh, wild brush strokes. He's very passionate about what he's doing. There's a moment in the early 80s when people were very interested in neo-expressionism. But by the late 80s and early 90s, most of the art world was focused on appropriation and a very cool, cool kind of art, meaning, you know, cool in its affect. And he's not that way at all. So that, to me, is very moving, how emotional the work is, how intense it is, how vulgar it is at times. And I think that doesn't go with a lot of the art world's idea about what's appropriate, even in an expression. Much of the general population suffers mediocrity, as the art scene is cold and desolate. I paint the figure sentimental, but very valid. And I think right now, that seems very powerful again, given what's going on in the world. So it seems suddenly very relevant, the way he's painting sort of as a kind of protest about the world. Death and homoerotic themes are reflected in these works. The death of an individual is tragic loss. The death of so many, insane. And then also he's dealing with all kinds of anxieties about uh, the AIDS epidemic. His work is very personal in terms of its own demons and angels. Those are some of the themes that he works with. But at the same time, it's very much part of a larger um, moment in which many different artists in the East Village are struggling with the same kinds of issues. Fight back! Fight Personal documentation has led me to the center of a plague. I'm angered that my loves, friends, and mentors have been allowed to die the most painful of deaths without any help or care. fighting this genocide and portray its ghost and the memories that ensure my inevitable link to it. I renounce the Roman Catholic faith, which has, to my mind, impeded deliberately the cure of HIV disease and the essential education of Americans and people worldwide to prevent infection. I will not be passed into the hands of those I consider responsible for my death. I'll allow my soul to find God and heaven for itself. I want to live. I want to remember. I have many to prosecute. Mm -hmm.